Hi guys, welcome back to Funkos with Chris. Uh, here today with a little short video. Uh, about a week ago, I posted some uh, an Ask Me Any Questions on my Instagram page. And figured, it's been a, about a week now, so figured I'd go ahead and answer those questions. And yeah, so let's get started. Uh, the first question is, uh, will you ever go to Funko HQ? And i definitely love to go. Uh, I was looking up ticket or plane ticket prices and hotels and it's pretty affordable and it's not too bad. It's like $2,000 for like a four or five day trip. So i definitely love to go. So I'm hoping to go probably in the next year, year or two maybe. Really would love to go and definitely on my bucket list for sure. And definitely need to check Funko HQ out. Uh, next question is, uh, since you use the Spider-Man blanket here, uh, what is your favorite Spider-Man pop? Uh, my favorite Spider-Man pop would probably have to be the six arm Spider-Man. Really love this pop. Uh, what would make it a lot better is if the extra arms, instead of being covered in the uniform there, uh, if they're just bare. Like it's supposed to be in the comic book but either way it's still a nice pop i like it a lot and really cool design on it with all the different arm poses and stuff it's really cool so that's my favorite spider-man pop and i show this one off too because i really love this one the superior spider-man such an awesome comic book series uh not too many issues like 30 31 32 so if you haven't read it yet, definitely check that comic book series out. Really, really the best, or at least one of the best Spider-Man series out there right now. So, yeah, check it out if you haven't. Uh, third question is, uh, how many Funko Pops do you own? Uh, probably own, according to Pop Price Guide, I own like 204. And, yeah, it's it doesn't look like that much, but I guess... When you see the number, I guess it is that much. So, yeah, I'm at 204, apparently. <laughs> so, the next question is, uh, how long have you been collecting Pop or Funko Pops for? Uh, so, basically, I've been collecting since about July of 2017. So, it hasn't been that long. Just two years about that. So, yeah. Not very long. Uh, I know the first pop that I bought was Mr. Clark, and I was really into Stranger Things at the time, and then I saw this pop sitting on the shelf at EB Games, and I had to pick it up, so it was around this time that I started collecting, and this is the very first pop that I got, or bought, basically, so yeah. Around 2017, SDCC is when I started to get into Funko Pops. Um, next question is the favorite pop in my collection uh, would have to be the Buff Rick and Summer uh, from 2017 SDCC. I uh, love this pop. Uh, just got it recently, probably last month or two months ago. I did a trade for it on one of the Funko groups, or not Funko, the Facebook groups, and yeah, really glad to have it, never thought I would have it, and just really glad to actually have it in my collection. It was one of my top grails, and to have it right here beside me is really awesome. Um, uh, next question was, which pops do you collect? Uh, pretty much, I collect Rick, Rick and Morty, uh, Stranger Things, uh, some Marvel. I don't have a lot of Marvel, but I have about 10 Marvel in total. I'm hoping to get more, but you know, really getting into this basic plastic line. Got a couple all ar around there. Got 12, I think, in total of the basic plastic line. Love the, those pops a lot, so yeah. Um, that's pretty much what I collect, yeah. Um, what is your grail pop? My grail pop would probably have to be 
This one is my second most valuable. Uh, love this one a lot. Really happy to have it, like I said before. But yeah, it's my most, not the most expensive. If you want to say top, top most expensive grail, it'd probably be the Roy right there. That's like 110, 115 or something like that. But for my most favorite grail pop, basically, it would be the Buff Rick and more, uh, Buff Rick and Summer. Yeah, really happy to have that one. And the last question is, do you have any sign pops? And my one sign pop that I have here is Mr. Clark. That was signed by Randy Havens, I believe his name was. I'm forgetting it right now at the moment. Yeah, it was Mr. Clark from Stranger Things. And really nice guy when I met him two years ago, I think, or last year. I can't remember now. Yeah, it was last year. Last April, I met him at a convention. Really nice guy. Uh, talked to him for a bit about the show. He really loved being on the show, and he's just a really nice, friendly guy. So happy I got to meet him. And the next pop I have signed is another Stranger Things. is Dustin and uh, the Barnes & Noble exclusive. Only difference is he has a brown coat on compared to the common that has a blue coat or blue jacket. Yeah, love this pop a lot. Really happy to meet him. I met him in Toronto at Fan Expo. Uh, what year was it? 2017, I believe. And yeah, he was there with Mike and Lucas and they're each charging like 50 bucks an autograph. And I was like, I would love to have all three of the boys sign their pops, but I just wanted my favorite character to sign, so I ended up getting just Dustin to sign, so happy to have him though. And next week at a convention near me, uh, the voice of Batman's coming to town, so I'm really hoping to get my animated Batman signed, and really would love to meet Kevin Conroy, he was a big part of my childhood growing up, and I uh, can't wait to meet him. And hopefully he doesn't cancel, fingers crossed. But yeah, like I'd love to meet him, love to get that pop sign, and can't wait to meet him next week. So yeah, uh, hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you did, give it a like. Uh, comment down below, let me know what you thought. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, uh, thanks for taking time to watch this video. It means a lot, so yeah. Thanks again for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.